careful. Good morning, Paris. Good morning. What you doing? I'm trying to organize the bathroom. I just don't know how to decorate it right now. Hmm. Dilemma. We also need to organize it. Because these drawers are a mess. Tons of stuff. And this cabinet out here needs to be organized because it's just like full of stuff. We also need to figure out what we're doing with that space. But you guys, today we possibly could be getting our table so our dining room slash kitchen will be done. And the rug. The rug might come today too. House projects. All right, so somebody commented the other day that we need to hang some art on the walls. And we definitely do. It's been driving me nuts having bare walls. But it's so hard because we don't have all the furniture items that we're gonna have. So it's hard to like hang art when you're not sure how everything's gonna be placed in the apartment. But we did go ahead and hang this tapestry on the wall. And we've never really hung a tapestry on a wall before. But I think I like it. But it is something that could be easily moved because it's just really small nails. But I think I like it. What do you guys think? What do you think? I like it. I think it looks good. Mm -hmm. It's not a blank wall. Yeah, so we've got that there for now. And I'm also still trying to figure out the bathroom because it's been driving me nuts too. But I'm going with this for now, this little cake stand thing with some things up there. So we got like the, what are these things called? Q-tips and cotton balls, but I'm still trying to figure everything out. I don't want it to be too fancy, but I want it to look nice. I don't know. All right, so I'm about to attempt something that I've been wanting to do for two years now because, so one of my friends got me a homebrew beer brewing kit and we got it for our wedding. I got it for a wedding present and we haven't used it since then. So this is 2014. We got married back in October 2014 and I still haven't used it. I've been wanting to use it. I think today's the day. Today's the day. Since there's yeast in beer and you don't want to kill the yeast, you have to sanitize everything that you're using. So I have to sanitize this tube, the cap, and the jug that we'll be putting the beer in. The next step is to heat two liters of water in here and then add this grain into there. And then I have to watch it boil and stir it and keep it at a special temperature using a handy dandy thermometer for an hour. This is gonna be fun. I don't know how much I trust this thermometer because there's 50 on here twice. It goes 100, 110, 120, 130, 140, 150, 150, 170, 180, 190, 200. Yeah. That's weird. <laughs> Brew my own beer. What is it? It's the um, mash. It's what does called, that mean? It's called the mash. But what is it? It's the wheat. Just wheat? Yeah, the grain. Ooh, it smells like cream of wheat. Mm -hmm. This is taking forever. Meanwhile, Kelsey has already made and eaten dinner. She made us chicken sandwiches on the homemade bread with bacon, lettuce, IPA mustard and cheese. Peppers on the side. You guys ready to have your mouth water? Boom. That's a chicken sandwich. Stir, stir, stir the pot. I like to stir the pot. Look at the scientist. I feel like a mad scientist. Stirring it <laughs> Both on. hands. Heating one to 170 degrees. Don't even have big enough pots for this. <laughs> This is pretty crazy. Pretty soon we're just gonna be brewing all of our own things, huh? First beer, next wine. That would be so fun. That's the hops, huh? Yeah. Looks like rabbit food. I know, they usually don't look like that. Okay, hop on in, little hops. <laughs> Whew, this is a long process. If all goes well, we have to let it ferment for two weeks and then we bottle it and then let it sit for another two weeks so my love, this could be like a celebratory beer after you're not pregnant anymore. So how many weeks is that? 
Um, four weeks <laughs> so and three a days. A bit longer than that. Yeah. But. But we could save. Four weeks, I'd be thirty-eight weeks. So we could save it though too. No, I'd be thirty-six. You bottle weeks. it so it won't go bad like that fast. Yeah. A cold one. Yeah. Nice cold home brew. Could be your celebratory beer. Whoa, I look scary right now. Also, I got my, I ordered a lamp online and it's like one of the Edison bulb ones. It's really bright so you can't really see, but isn't that so cool? It's so bright. I really like it, but it's a little brighter than I thought. You like can't look at it. I know, <laughs> and it makes everything like have dramatic shadows. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny. Now we wait three days, and then I take this cap off and put a sealed cap on, and then you wait two weeks. Hmm. And then you bottle it, and then you wait another two weeks. Oh. Long process. Okay, so this whole homebrew thing, I'm not sure how I feel about it because now my kitchen is a disaster. Looks like there's puke everywhere on the stove. Actually, he's wiped it up a little bit already. But this was like everywhere. I don't even cook. <laughs> Like, You've been doing this for how many hours now? A long time. <laughs> I feel like this is my life. I'm really impressed, honestly. Like, I'm really impressed. I feel You've like... You've been in the kitchen for hours. I don't even cook meals that take, like, longer than 15 minutes. I know. You've been over here homebrewing for at least three, three hours. Yeah. Also, we have it in here, which makes me a little uncomfortable <laughs> because... It's by all the you cleaning have to close supplies. It. It means it's darkness. I'm gonna call this beer Mr. Clean. I'm super proud. That's awesome that you made your beer, and I cannot wait to taste it. Does that feel nice? This is what you think is your toy, huh? You keep trying to take it from mom. This is not Paris's toy. This <laughs> is a pregnancy lifesaver. <laughs> this little blue ball. It's actually a foot massager. We got it at uh, New Seasons the other day. It's like they have all that yoga stuff and massage stuff there too. But um, it's a foot massager, but it's not just for feet. And it has been helping so much with, if you watch my bump dates, I've been talking about how like my hips get really, really tight, especially at night to the point where they actually wake me up and it's just really uncomfortable. But my hips and lower back have been like the most painful thing throughout this pregnancy. Not like painful, but just like really tight and uncomfortable. So I've been using this and this is super painful. Oh my goodness. It like digs in really, really hard and it hurts really bad, but then it releases all of that tension and um, I can sleep. I don't wake up anymore to tight hips because I get out the tension as much as I can every night and somebody helps me. <laughs> you have to be careful. Feels good afterwards. <laughs> Here's a two for emotional support. It's weird because I can feel like the tense spots. <laughs> You're done. Okay. All right guys, we're gonna go ahead and end the vlog, but thumbs up if you liked today's video. You're making. I don't know if it's my thing. <laughs> it was fun. I, it'll depend on how good the beer tastes. If it's really good, then maybe I'll do it again. But if not, I will probably never do that again. But thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already, because we do new videos every single day. And be where your feet are. Bye.